uh, I, I don't even think I got a thumbnail for this, for this video. I kind of ran up here, pulled the pepper out of the freezer. I ran up here, turned on the camera, turned on the light. I was going to weigh it for you guys, too. Look. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Look what I have, a white Maruga Scorpion, somewhere north of 1.2 to 1.9 million Scoville heat units. It is a direct descendant of the red Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. I don't believe it's as hot as that, but uh, it is frozen. I'm on borrowed time. <laughs> I think it was a little bit whiter when I, re when I did receive these from Quebec. It's kind of got a little yellowish. I don't know if that's from being in the freezer or what. But we're going to eat it, and I'll tell you my thoughts. Let's go. Mmm. So good. Mmm. -hmm. I was going to weigh it, but... Mom borrowed time with the frozen peppers. I like to eat them. Hmm. Oh, so good. Right out of the freezer. <clears throat> Delicious. So, I know right off the bat, a lot of people, you know, they they don't like frozen peppers. And I, I do, I will agree with them. If you wait any any length of time with a frozen pepper right out of the freezer, like within a few minutes, the outer wall of the pepper will get very soggy. And it's almost unbearable to eat. But for me, I love eating frozen peppers. And I, I, what I do, I take them right out of the freezer and I eat them, I eat them like within seconds. And that white Maruga scorpion, it's almost like a, like a tropical, uh, getting like a hint of citrus there. It's like fruity, such a delicious pepper. Like I gotta say, that's, that's the third time I've had the white Maruga scorpion. And it's getting up there for one of, being one of my favorite peppers. It's delicious. The heat. I haven't eaten a pepper in a couple of days. I've been doing mostly hot sauce, but man, that heat for me, definitely all over the tongue, roof of the mouth. My heat's probably four, three or four for that. Definitely like the front of the mouth, bottom of the mouth there, the lips. Such a delicious pepper. You know, you're, you're not getting... For me personally, I don't get any floralness with the with the even when I got them fresh from Quebec. It was just such a, a fruity tropical little bit of citrusy going on pepper that I thoroughly enjoyed. And the heat, I also love the heat on all the scorpion peppers. Like I said, from my research, I believe that's not as hot as the red, the Trinidad red scorpions, but that is still a delicious pepper with great heat. And uh yeah, I would love to just like maybe do some cooking with that one. You know, I could see I could see using that on a lot of things. A lot of different chickens, stir fries. I, I would put that in almost anything. That pepper is delicious. Uh, but yeah, as far as the frozen peppers, guys, I love eating frozen peppers. I know a lot of people don't. But I just wanted to come on and talk to you guys about that. I do, I'm still eating frozen peppers pretty much on the daily. And uh, I don't know, I just, I love it. I love eating them frozen. For me up here in Canada, I can't get fresh peppers, right? It's so hard to get a fresh pepper. So for me, I, I, what I when I do get fresh, I freeze them. And then I'm usually... I'm, I'm, I usually try, once the grow season starts, I'm, I'm on the hunt. I'm looking for fresh peppers. Right now, I got a stockpile, and I just go down. It's one way. It's one trick I use to keep my tolerance up. 
one you can try as well. I'm going to be trying to be open and honest with you guys with everything. And if you want to build your tolerance, one trick that I do that I'm, I'm using, obviously fresh peppers, and everybody will tell you this, fresh peppers are going to be better 100% of the time. But if you're in a place like me in Canada and it's hard to get fresh peppers, you can go to your local grocery store and get habaneros. But for me, I love the super hot peppers. So for me, one good trick is to freeze them. And once you freeze them, once you pull that out of the freezer, eat it. Eat like eat it almost right away. I eat it almost instantly. As soon as I pull it out, I let well, like wait a second or two. And I'm eating it. It's almost like a fruity, delicious frozen snack. That's kind of how that was. So good. Great balance of heat all over the mouth. It's kind of like working its way back to the throat a bit. Uh, I, I don't even think I got a thumbnail for this, for this video. I kind of ran up here, pulled the pepper out of the freezer. I ran up here, turned on the camera, turned on the light. I was going to weigh it for you guys too. Look. <clears throat> Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know. I was going to wait for you guys, too. I brought the scale up, but I thought, oh, my God. I, I don't, like, everybody knows you're you're within minutes. If you let it get soggy, it's not the same. You you. But I'm telling you, just one little trick for me to you. Try it right out of the freezer. I mean, I've had Reapers, and, you know, you pull them out. You're, you're still getting that floralness. But a delicious pepper like that, it's like a fruity, fruity frozen snack. <laughs> so, I, but yeah, so that's why I didn't weigh it, guys. I was going to do this whole cut up, but you know, I just came up, turned the video on, and away we go. So there you go. That was the white Maruga Scorpion. Delicious pepper. If you guys can ever get your hands on that pepper, highly recommend you try it, check it out, get it. I also think the red Trinidad Maruga Scorpion is one of my favorites personally. I love the aggressive sting on that tongue. And uh, I love Reapers too, how they attack the back of the throat. But I, I always, always love the Scorpion. Scorpions were some of the first Super Hots I really had. And uh, I love that sting on the tongue. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you do... Hit the like button for me, share, subscribe, whatever. I'm trying to do one of them things. I, I you know, call to action, I guess it is. But uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. If you don't like the video, that's fine too. No biggie. <laughs> it's all good. So anyways, that's going to do it for me. Cheers, everybody.